Diving catches. The first tip is to have the attitude to pull off that diving catch. The best fielders have a burning desire to want the ball and to make that great play. Concentration is required for the whole innings, as well as to have an incredibly strong desire to help the team do well. Common mistakes are when the fielder is not ready for the play. There is a tentative attitude of simply not being in the habit of attempting those diving catches. The next tip is that the feet are best. When fielding, ideally stay upright on the feet and only dive if necessary. This will help the fielder to get balanced and to focus on the ball. That said, if the catch requires a dive, commit to it and back yourself. A common mistake is an unnecessary dive which is often due to lazy footwork and effort. The next tip is two hands. When attempting that diving catch, use two hands which is ideal. Often even very good cricketers don't make enough effort to get two hands to the ball. Two hands will create a large surface area to cup the ball. The next step is to roll. When landing after a diving catch, rolling or turning the body can cushion the impact of the catching hand to the ground. By not cushioning the impact, often the ball will bobble out of the hands upon contact with the ground. The final tip is to prepare. The best fielders have thought about how the ball might be travelling towards them, what likely shot the batsman will be playing and how the ball will travel. The fielder is not surprised when that diving opportunity presents itself. Recapping. The best diving catchers want the ball and have attitude. Staying upright on the feet is ideal. Use two hands wherever possible. Roll or cushion the fall. Mentally prepare or imagine the catch before it appears.